In this video, I'm going to show you one of the second and most important things that you can do defensively for your scheme, and that is coverage adjustments. We're going to give you some of my favorite coverage adjustments today for the gun bunch meta. A lot of people run bunch. We're going to talk a little bit about how you can defend bunch. Also, formation similar to bunch. This does apply somewhat to compression, um, any, any kind of compression set. Now, uh, I believe that there's five key pieces to effective defense. I believe that you have to have some type of blitzing threat in your defense. You have to have coverage adjustments, a plan for how are you going to cover some of the most popular meta formations. How are you going to have covered good coverage adjustments against tight bunch, U trips, trips tied in, and then also what's your random, uh, what's your random game plan, right? For random different types of formations. Um, the third thing I believe you got to have is you got to have the ability to stop the run. Right, we're going to talk a little bit about that tomorrow. I also believe you have to have incredible red zone defense. What is your red zone plan? And then lastly, what is your plan for defense um, at the end of the half? What's your two-minute offense, right? you got to stop them. Um, maybe you got to hold them to field goals, right? How are we going to do that? Uh, so we, we're going to talk about all that this week, keys to elite defense. And today we're taking a look at how do you stop or what, what are some good coverage adjustments? And coverage adjustments is simply – basically having a game plan for how am I going to adjust my defense to the most popular formations when I face them. Um, so you could have a base game plan, at least for what does bunch do well, or what does tight do well, or what does trips tight end do well? What does U trips do well? What are the popular concepts? That gives you a base from, a, from what you can work from to create even better adjustments. Now, like I said uh, yesterday, we're going to be doing this out of dollar. If you want to get my entire dollar ebook, the link's going to be in the description. Standard coaching adjustments for dollar. We're going to have auto flip on, auto alignment to base, option defense on conservative, and zone coverage set to match. I've been getting a lot of questions about zone coverage and why I would set that to match. If you put your zones on default, you are, you are asking to get bombed for one play touchdown. Zone defense, even if you have zone drops active, general zones that even don't that don't even have like quote unquote match principles they play better when your zone coverage is set to match okay um all right so dollar the base defense that we want to do everything from is db fire 2 again defense is all about adjustments now the other thing is we do have some audibles right we can set some audibles so if we want to have you know cover four drop if we want to have match coverage in this we can have that if we want to have cover three cloud if we want to be able to to play cover one robber, right? You can do all of those things, but your base defense is going to be DB fire too. Okay. Now, uh, another thing that I want to quickly go over is a key principle is to always make everything look the same. So if I'm going to say that deep, this, this four man blitz right here off the left side, if that's my base blitz for bunch, because what it does is it forces them to have to block the running back, right? then I want to ask myself, okay, how can I create a base coverage shell that is going to do really good against Bunch? couple key things when you're talking about adjustments. What you want to ask is, what does this formation do well? What are the popular things that people like to do? One of the most popular things that people like to do at a Bunch is they love to run a streak, a corner, and a flat route to the Bunch side of the field. So how can we stop that with within the framework of this right here. One of the best ways I like to do is have a third, a middle third from the bunch side uh, safety, especially if the bunch is to the wide side, have an outside third to that corner. He's gonna take away the corner and then have a hard flat to that, um, that, slot, that slot corner. So this is a great little series of adjustments for stopping the streak, the corner and the flat. And we're also sending pressure in behind it, right? So it's a great defense for stopping street corner flat to the wide side of the field. So that's some idea of like, okay, here's what the formation does well. Now I want to say, okay, here's my base defense. How can I make adjustments to the coverage to make it play better? Okay, I'm going to give you another example. So what if we did this? Now what do a lot of people like to do on the left side of the field? A lot of people like to throw C routes. A lot of people like to throw quick throws to the running back. Those are some of the key things, especially against the blitz. They're going to try to throw some kind of quick throw to the running back. For example, they love to do concepts like this um, over the middle of the field, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to take um, the – we're going to do what's called the scissor adjustment. The scissor adjustment just basically means that we're going to take the solo wide receiver side cornerback – 
We're going to man him up on the running back, and we're going to take the solo wide receiver side safety, and we're going to man him up on that outside uh, receiver. So what you're going to see now is if they try to quick throw to the running back, this guy is going to lurk it, and you've got a pretty good chance at making that a pick six opportunity for your defense. So again, it's what do they do well? Now, let's say that they block their running back because they have to block their running back to pass protect. What are some other things that they're, they might be trying to accomplish? Well, another very popular route combo against Dollar, especially, is to take is to call this verticals play, and then what they're going to do is they're going to take the running back and put him on a wheel. So what we want to do is we're going to say, okay, same exact adjustment. How does our base coverage look? How is this going to do against that concept? Well, we're going to get pressure really quickly. So basically it comes down to can we stop that tight end wheel and can we lurk the crosser? As you see right there, we're able to take away yet another one of the most popular concepts um, against the gun bunch meta. So what are they going to have to do to adjust to us, basically? Well, they're going to have to do a couple things. They're going to have to block the running back. Okay, that they have to block the running back against a dollar. Pretty much everybody that plays dollar knows that by now. You have to block the running back to stop the splits. So what that does is now they're going to be having four people out on routes, and we're going to be having um, seven different defenders in coverage. Now, the other thing that I want to quickly address is this idea of, you know, maybe a C route. So what, are the, what happens if, this, if they run this C route? Well, it's double covered when we do the scissor adjustment. So it really does a decent job um, of taking away one of the most popular things that people like to do because if they block the running back, which they kind of have to, the C route's not going to be there. Now, for sake of example, I want to show you how the man coverage plays anyway. And remember that in dollar, we can put inside shade at our safety if we wanted to. So we can put our best man-to-man -man coverage players at the safety position because we know that the slot corners, they're really more focused on sending pressure. Anyways, what you'll look at here is if they throw that C route, that C route is kind of there, but at the same time, it's kind of not there, as you can see right there. Okay, So this coverage adjustment to me is really, really good against Bunch. Now, you've got to start to ask yourself, and this is, this is part of develop, developing your own defense, especially in the coverage adjustment piece. If I run this defense, it's an if-then structure. If I run this defense, what does it force my opponent to run? And how can I counter that counter, right? How can I counter the counter punch? Well, it does a couple things. If they run this defense, they're going to have to block the running back. Well, if they have to block the running back, then that basically takes away the number one receiver. The number one receiver is going to be double covered if they block the running back. So now they can't really do anything over here to the left side of the screen. So now what they're left to kind of figure out is are they going to run this mesh post play, right, or something like this? Or, you know, another example could be one of the other popular things that people like to do at a bunch is basically a deep corner concept where it looks like this. Now, this is actually going to give us a little bit of trouble. So if they motion this, this player out, now I have to reverse engineer and say, okay, it's a little bit of a different formation. I got to figure out what am I going to look for? Well, in this example, I have to be disciplined and say, if I see a flood, I got to go to that corner out and trust that double coverage on the backside dig. So these are some of the steps that it takes to be building your own coverage adjustments, your own coverage defense. I think that this is a very important piece of any effective defense in the game. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about run defense and how you want to go about kind of order some tips for run defense. Um, but I think, again, the top five keys to building your defense, right, you've got to have a blitz threat. You've got to have good coverage adjustments for the best formations that you're going to face. You have to have a run defense. I think you've got to have a red zone defense, and you've got to have an end of half or game plan or a game plan where you want to play like um, protect the sideline, protect the deep bomb. What are you going to call in those situations? We're going to teach all that to you here on the channel. That stuff is also laid out in all of our Madden eBooks. So if you want to get access to those, join the Patreon for just $10. Get you access to everything. Thanks for watching. If you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description and click the link down below.